From the okay. friends of the creator of the Naked Gun. <laughs> friends of the creator of the Naked Gun. Yeah, yeah, we got the joke here. Hi. Yeah. Okay. Hi, my name is Alon Gouarie. I'm. A, What's your role? Well, I'm, I'm the film director. I'm the one who's everybody blame if it fails, and everybody takes the success to their side if it succeeds. Yeah. So when 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 David Zucker calls it the. Oh, you, or, or the marketing people call it friends of David Zucker. How did you get him involved? Well, I, um, by mistake, you know, he was thinking about traveling in Israel, and then people called me, told me maybe you want to meet him because you talk the same silly stuff as he is, and also I'm, you know, I'm lecturing about comedy in Israel or making comedies in his style. He, he didn't knew that then, and then. Uh, uh, we made some Q&As and, and the screening of his films, uh, you know, Airplane, uh, Naked Gun, uh, Top Secret, and, and then I showed him a short film I made when I finished film school. It was an homage for his work, and then, and then he said, oh, I, he's still in my genre, <laughs> but let's, uh, and, and then uh, we, um, it's okay, are you okay? Yeah, okay, yeah. okay. So, so I show him, uh, uh, I showed him a short film I made and, uh, and I told him that, that we are going to try to make this one a parody about the Israeli Mossad. And he said, okay, if it's going to happen, uh, call me. So I called him, he came to Israel, helped us in rehearsals and, uh, and the shooting and invented some jokes and it, it was hilarious. We worked about this uh, on the script, uh, uh, and, and, and it had, it had a huge success in Israeli terms. Uh, we're now uh, over a quarter million viewers, and uh, for Israeli, it's great. In the cinema? Yeah, 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 in cinema, in theatrical release. Yeah. Till now. Yeah, yeah. When did it come out? Um, at the end of uh, June. End of June, and now it's uh, just the beginning of November. Yeah, and it's still screening. You know, we had to fight uh, the Lion King and Aladdin and Tarantino, and and they begged us to to, to stop uh, screening, but we, we're still we are still on air. Yeah. <laughs> I guess people must have asked you, did the Mossad approve, or did they did the government try to stop you from uh, using the concept of Mossad or well, the name? Well, okay. Um, that's true. People from the production started to disappear. No, no, no. But 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 they really. Uh, I know. I know they liked it. They also. Uh, um, um, uh, we had a website, you no know, Mossad C O I L, but we have only one S in the name because they got the domain with two S, and uh, and I get strange emails all the time directed to them. Uh, so. I just forward it, you know, I don't want to read it. Um, but uh, I know it's okay, it's okay, they, they, they're really okay with that. And, and you know, we laugh, about, we laugh about ourselves. If you have uh, James Bond and Johnny English and uh, parodies around the world, now we have a spoof of our own. Um, and it's also funny. I'm sure it's funny, but is it a good idea to make fun of the Mossad in such a way that when the movie gets shown in other countries, maybe even America, but, but uh, outside of Israel, that it uh, takes away from the, the deterrence that the idea of Israeli Secret Service. Well, comedy is always criticism about ourselves. Uh, and, and, you know, everyone is stupid all over the world. And, 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 and this film, uh, it, it's, everybody is it's funny. So uh, we have the Mossad agent competing a CIA agent to save the world. And uh, if they won't save the world, the head of the Mossad won't be able to light a torch in Israel's ceremony at the Independence Day. So they must succeed in live television. He must do that. So, so it's it's a comedy. It's a satire about uh, uh, um, um, you know military uh, uh, secret services and about us being Israelis and Jews. Uh, people liked it all over the world. I, I now it's starting showing uh, in other countries and we get great responses. I must tell you that we made a test screen, uh, uh, we made, we've made a secret test screen here in the US and some places and people told us, oh, they get it. It's, it's like the old, you know, the, the Zucker Abrahams movies, but it was strange for them that the Mossad is stupid and the CIA are smart. They said the CIA must be the stupid one, and the Mossad is like the. So 
No, so, so if we are going to make a remake in American Ring, you just switch, switch the parts and, and that's it. But the, the version was shown in America with subtitles? Yeah, with subtitles, but I must say that the film is mostly in English. Because, you know, in Israel, when, when, when someone American comes to the room, everybody starts uh, talking in bad English like mine. So, uh, <laughs> um, so it's uh, about 60 or 70 percent English and uh, another 30 percent visual gags. So it's very internationally when you watch it. And in Israel, nobody complains because Israel is watch mostly American movies. So we all have the same references about action and parodies and uh, right. spy. Right. Will there be a, a US distribution? And if so, will it be dubbed in English so there's no Hebrew? Um, there is, it's going to be an American distribution. I don't know yet the details, but we're working on it. It's just starting, you know, we have, uh, uh, we're going to have an international premiere and uh, Tallinn, Estonia, and uh, then we're going to uh, go all over the world, I guess, and conquer the world and have uh, ma many sequels and uh, lots of money. No, but the uh, international pr uh, premiere, will it be before America? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we're going, we, first, it's going to do the festival or festival tour around the world, and later on uh, for a theatrical release. So, but don't movies that are in festivals cannot be in commercial distribution? Oh no! It's, it's it also we, you have it in festivals, and later on you go to international di distribution. But uh, if one, don't miss it because oh, I have this postcard again, and we have the dates. So we have uh, three more screenings here. Uh, and I guess you must watch it, because if you won't do that, something is going to happen.